Hi there, my name is Martina and I will be explaining module 3, 4 and 5 of this tutorial. So for module 4, we assume the following. We assume that you already know what the basic and essential components of a Jupyter book are, that is the components that are absolutely needed in order to build a Jupyter book. And we also assume that you have already built your very basic but still okay first Jupyter book. And this one should look like this. If you haven't been able to reach this step, please make sure to run again module three and contact us if you have any issues or questions. So what you will learn in module four is the following. You will learn what a config YAML is and how it can be used to personalize the appearance and behavior of your Jupyter book. We will also give you some specific examples of the parameters of a Jupyter book that can be modified using this config YAML. So in this video, I'm going to briefly show you what a config file looks like, but to really understand what it is and to see options and what things you can modify, you should run module four, but also check the official documentation where everything is explained in a lot of detail. So a config file defines the values of some of the parameters of your Jupyter book. This is a very basic example. So in this example, title and logo will define the title and the logo that are displayed in your Jupyter book. Then author and copyright are going to be used to define what is displayed on the footer of your main page. You can also define what your fab icon, the fab icon of your Jupyter book looks like and you can also personalize the navigate the footer of the navigation bar for example in this way so another very cool feature of jupyter book is that you can link your content the content of the jupyter book with a button to your repository um, your github repository as long as your jupyter book is of course connected is hosted, sorry, on a GitHub repository. This button also allows users, if you want to, of course, also allows users to open issues about the content of your Jupyter book. But an important thing to note is that you don't need a config YAML to build your Jupyter book. If you don't specify or if you don't define a config YAML, if you don't create a config YAML, sorry, then um, Jupyter book is going to use its default parameters that are the following and that are very that are explained in much detail in the official documentation. So as you can see, there are a lot of options that you can define, a lot of options that you can modify, and we strongly encourage you to check these default uh, values, change them, and see how your Jupyter book changes with those changes. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a much prettier version of your Jupyter book with a logo, a title, customized footers, and GitHub buttons. If you run into any issues, make sure to contact us. If you have any questions, also make sure to contact us. And hope you enjoy module four. See you in module five.